Welcome back to the channel, folks. Matt of the Pack Northwest. Weather's starting to turn nice. You know what that means? It means our boats need to hit those waters that we love so much. So in this episode, we're going to talk about installing LED lights, how to design the system, how to install them looking professionally, and how to correctly wire them. So if you like my channel, smash that like button. Also hit the subscribe button and feel free to share my videos. Stay tuned and enjoy. Adding LED lights to the boat gives us a couple features. Number one, safety. It allows the boat to be seen during foggy conditions, early morning launches, and late night retrievals. The second thing it gives us is safety, loading people and equipment. It allows us to be able to see the decks, so that way we're not tripping over any hazards and safely getting in and out of the boat. And the third thing is, it looks cool. Now, on this boat, we have courtesy lights up forward and courtesy lights up back aft. Now, the forward courtesy lights are being blocked or obstructed by the batteries that we installed for the trolling motor. So by adding a simple LED light strip, we can alleviate that problem, light up our decks, and safely operate our vessel. So come on, follow me into the boat, and I'll show you how I did it. Before you start any project, you should come up with a plan. Now, the idea of this one was to add LED lights to something that was already there. Courtesy light switch is there. I don't have to cut anything in. I don't have to add another one run a relay off those courtesy light switches, provide that power to a distribution block, and then power my LED strips. Doing it this way gave me the option to add other LED lights later down the road, say something like an underwater light. I know what you're thinking. Once you start, you never stop. It's true. Once you start doing modifications, you always want to do more modifications. So plan it out right, decide what you're going to do, and follow that plan. In my design, I decided to use a distribution block. So where do I put that distribution block? Well, I had a few things I wanted to make sure. One, I wanted to make sure it was up out of the way. Two, that it would stay dry. And three, easy access if I ever wanted to add something else later. So in this boat, I have a gigantic gun wall storage lockers. Inside those gun wall storage lockers, I remove a simple plate. And there you have it. There's my distribution block. It's also extremely close to my battery. Therefore, the power and the negative runs are extremely short and easy to install. Here's the installed relay. This relay takes a signal from the pre-existing LED light, directs the battery power from the relay directly to the distribution block, and it runs it through its own separate fuse. This is a lot safer doing it this way rather than running everything through a switch and possibly shorting out the switch. Location of the LEDs. Where are you going to install them? I didn't want them to install up on top. I didn't want them on the floor. So I decided to install them right underneath this carpeted rail. Now my LED lights that I created have clips that I'll be able to clip the LED light into the location that I want and I'll be able to remove them if I need ever need to service them. Again, follow the plan. Install what you need to install step by step and it'll look professional. 